Hey guys and welcome to another video series. My name is Roberto George and today I'm going to cover a topic uh, that I wanted to cover a while back which is Mac Mini for video editing and motion graphics. Uh, I'm going to show you some real world uh, tests, examples and um, in the end of this series I think you will be uh, at least that's my hope that uh, I will help you to decide whether if this is a good machine for you or not depending on the software that you are using. So we are in March uh, 2014, today is the 23rd, sorry about that, 23rd of March 2014 um, and uh, the rumors said that the new model would come out at the end of February 2014. That didn't happen, uh, we're almost in the end of March 2014 and uh, no new model there. So I think even if you are watching this video after the new release of the Mac Mini, uh, you will be able to take conclusions and to see if you want to get a good deal on the older model which is this one 2012 after the new release until now it, this is the new model late 2012 or if you want to step up and go with the new Mac mini whatever changes they they make as well or if they skip as well and go Broadwell um, I really would like to see a dedicated GPU on this, but that's uh, speculating, so let's not waste time on that. Uh, having that in mind, uh, by the end of this series I really hope that I could help you to decide whether if you um, make a good purchase on the Mac Mini or not. I will be comparing this Mac Mini with uh, three other machines. One is my uh, desktop, which is... Um, an i7-4770K, you can see it in prior videos of my build, so you have all the specs there. I've got my brother's MacBook Pro, this is the 2000 for two, late 2013 uh, MacBook Pro with uh, the CPU as well 2.3, Turbo Boost up to 2.9 and the dedicated graphics card 750M, NVIDIA 750M. I will also uh, use this for a particular test which is exactly the same CPU as the Mac Mini Ivy Bridge 2.3 to reboost that to 3.3 but as a dedicated graphics card uh, the 630M so I will use it uh, for that uh, purpose um, making this comparisons bear in mind I don't want to make a, a race here so please do not make a comment hey Robert that's not fair comparisons I know it's not a fair comparisons I've got a desktop I've got two laptops and something that it's in the middle of it like a, an hybrid uh, a desktop footprint with uh, laptop components so I know it's not a fair comparison but what I want to achieve is to give you uh, the more or the most examples possible so you can make a wiser decision and uh, to give you a wider range of results so it would be easier for you to grab to get your hands on one of these machines whether if it's a family or a friend uh, you can make some tests and then decide if this is the machine for you or not. At least this is my hope. Uh, if I'm wrong, <laughs> state it there in the comments. I will hear all comments. Um, having that in mind, what I'm going to share with you is uh, a few videos with uh, a topic each and I'm going to cover that in a keynote that I've prepared for you. Uh, regarding this machine, um, it's a beautiful machine, <laughs> very small footprint. Uh, it looks like a kid's toy. It is not. Uh, it has some limitations, of course, but uh, which we will take. We will talk about them. Uh, it has some pros and cons, as uh, everything in life. But um, main point is: is it enough for your type of work? And that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug my Mac Mini to its place and put it ready to show you the keynote with all the topics that I'm going to cover so it's easy for you to skip a video or uh, skip all videos <laughs> if it doesn't uh, matter to you and um, I'll be back with you in two and a half seconds okay and we are back <laughs> our Mac Mini is now in place and ready to uh, show you the keynote with all the the topics uh, so without further ado let's take a look at the keynote so it starts with a really nice picture of the Mac Mini uh, but it's not uh, because of the picture that you are here, obviously. Uh, so Mac Mini late 2012 motion graphics and video editing performance. So the topics that I'm going to cover in this um, uh, in this mini series will be the first one, 
why buy a Mac? Of course, this will be my personal experience, my uh, my case. Uh, the second topic will be why the Mac Mini late 2012, uh, when you have several uh, Mac systems to choose from. Why did I went with uh, the late 2012? And of course, each of this topic has uh, some interesting things that I will share with you. After that, we will start our um, benchmarks. So Adobe Premiere rendering times will be the first one. It's the main software that I use for uh, video editing. And um, after that, we will go to Final Cut Pro 10 rendering times. There are some curious uh, and, and nice things about these two uh, softwares. To be honest, I'm, uh, I've used Adobe Premiere for a long time and Final Cut just uh, briefly, I, sh I started to use it. But uh, I found some things that uh, I will share with you, which are really, really nice. Um, after that, we will go to Adobe After Effects rendering times. And to be honest, this is the software that I use most of the time. Around 80% of my time is spent in After Effects, uh, mostly in my main workstation. But uh, we will see how good uh, the Mac Mini is it for, for this type of work and its limitations what you can expect from the Mac Mini and After Effects and uh, what you can't expect from it. After that, we will have Apple Motion 5 rendering times. And this software here was uh, probably one of the main reasons that I went with uh, the Mac. But that's on the topic, why buy a Mac? I will explain better uh, there. After that, we will have uh, just a brief conclusion. Uh, about what's uh, being said and uh, some opinions, personal opinions, uh, and that will be it. So this Mac Mini 2012 series um, will cover all these topics and for the next video we will start with why buy a Mac. So I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.